Hey, hey, hey. How are you? Oh, I'm not even plugged in. <laughs> it was not this long last time I was with you. Just chopped mine all off. I have never, literally never seen you not wearing pajamas. <laughs> I feel like we just achieved a new level in our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> For years, I thought, well, it's just me, you know, because in, in my circle, it, it is just me who has lost um, a mother. And no matter how much support I got from people, it just wasn't what I wanted, which was people my age going through this stuff. I was the only one of my friends who'd lost a parent, um, and it became this thing that kind of defined me, but in a way that made me feel very other than other people. Not a lot made me feel better that first year after my mom died, and that did. That first meeting, I felt like a physical relief just by being in that space. I feel like we had a conversation that was immediately uh, vulnerable and open and sort of amusingly set a tone like for our... instantly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to hear someone say like yes like I have been there um, even if um, you know their situation was a little different um, to just be seen um, feels feels so good I'm very very grateful for that introduction very very grateful for for Kyle as a friend I actually never talked to anyone that was a sibling of an addict ever hmm. Um, I never went to like Al-Anon or anything like that. So like those little conversations that we were having about that, for me, it was like next level to be able to be like, oh, you get that. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. Just being in that space and not having to be anything or do anything, just exist how I was in that moment was so important for me. You've already connected over like the most vulnerable thing. So yeah. then anything after that is feels easy to talk about. Okay. Grief like cuts the bullshit, like the niceties and the like polite talk and it gets into like the heart of like this is life and death stuff. And when you get it, it, it just I feel like it automatically connects you heart to heart. You can have that heaviness and trauma and despair and then also be laughing two seconds later. For me, the most uh, comfortable or, um, you know, some point which could release my heart, really cure myself is kind of, I share some darkness of my thoughts and then Jennifer replied in a very humorous way. <laughs> you are a very, like, calming presence for me like I even though I get really excited like when I see your face <laughs> and one day I just got totally triggered by something and called you sobbing do you remember and it felt like such a win because you had shown me the path of just like showing up how you need to show up mm -hmm. without judgment and she will tell me pretty much like without explicitly telling me that like I know what I need um, and that um, like the answers are are already within me um, and I really value that um, because I find it so hard to trust my gut sometimes. You know the fact that that, that Kyle can so so eloquently speak to who my mother was and and, and um, you know what my experience was I think is a both the recognition like acknowledgement of him as a human to just kind of listen but also i think an acknowledgement that i have been able to articulate it in a way that um maybe i'm not able to always do with with other with other people hi chels text you in a few <laughs> love you guys okay wait let's all have, let's have an actual check-in sometime okay yes please Bye, Jennifer. Bye. <laughs> yeah. I love you too.